Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Oh my god, the day has officially come. I never thought that this day would come, <laughs> but give a big round of applause to my special guest, Bancho. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, welcome to my channel. Okay. I'm sure everybody already knows who you are. Yeah, the cheese muscle, the cheese muscle. Everybody keeps up with all of Pancho's posts. Like, we all know that he covers all the latest cheese meat, but we can't sit here and add, like, we don't like the cheese meat, you guys, because I'd be like, Woo! girl, even if it's about me, I'll be like, did you see Pancho already covered it? I'm like, yes, damn, he did. For today's video, we're coming at you with a mukbang. So, as you guys can tell by the title, we're gonna be making chilindrinas. I don't know if that's what you call them, but they're like, these big ass tostadas, like, I don't know. In my mom's rancho, they used to sell these with like papas. Some people like them with cueritos. I'm not gonna do mine with cueritos. You like cueritos? I like cueritos. Okay, so maybe you might wanna do yours with cueritos. But I have um, papas and zanahoria. We have a bunch of stuff, salsa, crema, limon, a little bit of everything. So yeah, in today's video, I'm gonna be interviewing Pancho because normally everybody always gets interviewed by you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm kind of curious to see what I, kind of questions you, you got. I know, huh? It's going to be algo casual. It's not going to be something super dramatic. But anyways, you guys, if you guys want to eat with us, then please keep on watching. It's because I'm kind of, <laughs> I'm a little bit litty, you guys. I just did a full interview on Pancho's channel. So if you guys want to go ahead and check that out, we will go ahead and link it here in this video. We may or may not cover some cheese man. Okay. Yeah. May or may not. May or may not. So go ahead and check that out. So you guys, oh my God, we were talking about how um, before I didn't like Pancho. <laughs> <gasps> that's true. That's true. On my on, on the video. I didn't like him, but I feel like he's in his new era. So like, yeah, Pancho's in his new era right now, and he's just kind of doing his thing, thing. You know, he's been like, I feel like he's in his influencer era. So how does that make you feel that you're kind of like transitioning right now? Uh, me? Um, I, I think it's a little different. I want to kind of keep it still where uh, I do cheese man, but I want to keep it like half where I kind of go. I, I've always wanted to do like little vlogs and stuff. It's just I felt like you like influencers never accepted me maybe because they hated uh -huh. me. You know what I'm saying? Like they, they, they kind of dislike me for the most part. But um, you know, I feel I always have the ideas like once you get to know someone, you could really tell like because I feel like most people were judging without knowing. So that, that's my mindset. Like once you meet someone, it's like, it's a little different. But I still want to continue cheese man for the most part. I want to do like 70% cheese man, 30% me going out, you know? You feel like you would never be like 50% 50? Um, I don't think so. Because I feel like once you start catering to you, to your audience and, and one, one side of it, like that's all they want to see, the cheese man. But I don't know. I kind of see you kind of being an influencer now. I don't know why. I feel like I would want to see 50-50. Like, I would want to see you, like, in a different, like, perspective. Because I feel like you've already, like, done that. So, I'm sure people... I, I'm sure people feel the same way. Because I feel... Like, I just feel like a bunch of fugo. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, I don't really like um, cueritos. So, like, I don't know if I'm going to like it or not. For real? <laughs> yeah, I just feel like they're just... I think it's the texture. Going back to what you were saying, I... <laughs> I don't know, maybe, maybe in the future. Yeah, I think you should, because like, I really enjoyed seeing you like in your little scandal that you went through. Because like, you know, we all have our little scandal moments and I honestly didn't think it was that bad. Okay. Yeah, from my perspective. I've seen worse. Yeah? Yeah. I mean, I always get drunk. Damn, I've but had, they, just, they just don't film you, huh? <laughs> no, but I get crazy when I'm drunk, for real, for real. Damn. Yeah, but that's why when you go to events, you do have to be careful because you never know who's doing you ojo. Yeah. You know what I mean? Here, get some aguacate. Yeah, yeah, let me get some. Dom, there you go. There you go. But yeah, anyways, we love to see the Pancho content, so I feel like keep doing what you're doing. Okay. I was telling him in his interview that we were doing or whatever that like, I feel like I've already accepted you. I've already accepted like the fact that like when you're an influencer, people are always going to have your opinion and I feel like it has nothing to do with you. Yeah. So if you want to be an influencer, put yourself out there. Just know that people are always going to talk shit about you. And that's just kind of what it is. Damn. What do your influencer friends think about me? Have you asked them about me? Um. They hate me or what? So I had told somebody that I was going to do a mukbang with you. And I think that's why it took longer to like hit you up. Okay. And they were like, oh, you're going to do a video with him? And I was just kind of like, yeah, well, like what's like, what's the problem? You know what I mean? Yeah. But I didn't really like dig deep into it because I was like, mm, 
again at the end of the day like, i get to do whatever i want to do and people already know that i'm scandalous yeah so they really expect that from me but i don't know i feel like you're not out here like killing people so it's like yeah you know what i mean so is that what, what slowed you down from doing the, the interview because maybe your friend was like nah yeah that i was just kind of like hmm well maybe also because i'm busy but also yeah. that kind of like discouraged you it kind of discouraged me a little bit you want queso yeah what does your family think about like what you do is like your job um, you make money doing what you do right yeah yeah is um, it like good money or well he's driving a tesla you guys um they're, they're pretty supportive about it um i don't know if i told you i'm doing massage therapy too it's like i a, saw that so today <laughs> i was on your page because i was trying to figure out who to tag you or yeah. like how to tag you and oh no i was looking for the story you posted that you were gonna be with me yeah and I was like, what, what, what page? Because your main page that I follow you on, you didn't post it. Uh -huh. And so then I saw it's like something mas massage. Yeah. Right? And then I saw you. You were here doing fucking massages. Yeah, and I was yeah. like, is that Pancho? And then I clicked another one and you're over here doing a little neck massage. And I was like, mood. Like, yeah, what yeah. the fuck? So you went to school for that or what? Yeah, yeah. so I, I went to study for that. But um, book your massages, ladies. I'm not for real, but... <laughs> I, I kind of slowed down from it just because I feel like I was missing out on so much cheese, man. Maybe I'll get back to massage or maybe my 30s, but as of now, I feel like um, cheese men were... Like your main income? Yeah. I'm gonna put limon on my little thing. I don't know. My friend told me, put limon, it's so like chilindrinas. So I was yeah. like, okay, I'm gonna put limon. Why is it that the name of these are called chilindrinas? Honestly, I don't know. Do you like tomato? Not really. No. Okay. Um, I honestly don't know. I just saw these on TikTok, so I was like, de it okay so let, i don't know if i could ask you this but let's talk about your your trentanera who did you yeah. invite for your trentanera because i saw a little bit of the list that you sent me but who's actually like if you can speak about like, that before um, it comes out damas or like everything yeah yeah for my damas i'm having ani my buchona friend zuli my other buchona friend gabby uh do you know who they are they're like buchonas i know maybe one of the ones that you probably said uh-huh. Well, anyways, them, who else? I don't remember who else, John. Marlene. Marlene. Uh, I don't know. I forgot. But um, for the guys, it's you, my cousin. You want? Yeah, I'll take some. It's you, my cousin, Um, my brother. I might also have... You have wheels. a brother? Yeah, I have a brother. You didn't know? I didn't right? know that. Well, I really want to bite this because like, I never real. know. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's giving good. I feel like I haven't gotten to like the good part yet. I should try a cuarito, huh? Is it good, the cuaritos? Mm-hmm. Moo, look. Moo, this shit is so big. What the fuck? <laughs> this shit is freaking me out. Uh-uh. I need a short one. Get a small one. one. Get a small yeah, one. Yeah, because that shit is like, the texture is giving... Maybe I'm going to put limon because I feel like I'm going to gag. But I... It has no flavor to it. That's what I'm saying. So why do you eat it? The protein. <laughs> Dude, that tastes like pure sebo. I don't know. It's For good sebo. Oh, let me. Can I can I get a TikTok real quick before? Oh, the she fucking ass it up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. question I should ask you. Oh, people were asking me in my DMs. Somebody said, ew, why him? <laughs> <laughs> nobody's asking me questions. Bro, nobody asked me any questions. Dude, nobody's asking me questions. Oh, not nobody caring. For real. When can Pancho take me on a date? I'm mm. down to give him some gatita. I'm dead as hell. <laughs> So, are you excited to be a chambelan for my trintañera? Like, have you been a chambelan ever? I'm a world, world experience class chambelan. What? For real. Yes, this could be like, I was, I've done like four. Mm -hmm. This could be my first trintañera though. I'm pretty excited. I don't know if I'll stay the whole night, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm uh, his exclusive. Be, hey, before it gets too, too trouble out there. <laughs> I'm pretty why, excited. Why would it be trouble? Because there's going to be too many people, huh? I feel like there's going to be too many of the ops. You know what, what I'm saying? Like, you got ops? They're, they think I'm the op. You know what I'm saying? Like, I have no problem with nobody. I look forward to it, you know what I'm saying? I just... Um, you just want to leave early. Yeah, just, just enough to where, like, there's no problems, no nothing, you know what I'm saying? 
I honestly feel like you'll be fine, but I don't know what kind of ops you have. I don't know what you what kind of work you'll be doing outside of this. No, no, I'm just saying like I don't know if they you're the people you have they're going going it's gonna just like you me. You be know? like fuck them up. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, would you ever fight somebody? Don't you box? You do box, no? Yeah, but I just do it for protection. I don't do it to like I don't box to like oh I'm gonna kill this mother. You know, I just do it like you should box. I'm gonna check out my nails and then we can box. For real? Yeah. Damn. <laughs> no, I just do it for safety, you know? Oh, okay. What influencer would you want to collab with? Damn. Like, is there somebody that you, like, kind of look... I ain't gonna lie, you're to... one of the top the top ones that... Really? Yeah, yeah, but I'm trying to think who else. You know the Armadillo twins? The Mario twins? They, they would be a good one, too. Um, I think they would be down. Well, I don't think... know. I don't know if they have beef with you, but I don't know. No, nah, I think we're pretty good, but, um, damn, who else? They're really nice people. Yeah. I don't know who else, honestly. It, it's just me, like, I like to interview whoever's in the drama, you know what I'm saying? Like, so whoever's, like, going through it or whatever the case is, I like to interview those people. Because I don't like to interview people when, like, nothing's going on because it's like, damn, what am I going to talk about, you know? But, I mean, our interview went kind of good and it wasn't basically. No, I know. It, it went pretty good. But it's because I've known you for so long where I knew, like, so many questions to oh, ask you. Oh, know you know what to, like, bring up? Yeah. Well, I mean, um, you and Brittany could talk about how they got robbed. That would be funny. Well, the, the mailbox? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that'd be good. Dude, Ramiro dipped, huh? I seen he that. Was... I seen that. I don't know. Who, who's it? The, um... Not the Mario twins, but someone else went in the car. Who was that? It was Mo. Mo. Mo Money. Dude, Mo's down as fuck. Damn, you fucked that shit up. I'm like halfway. I had to. I'd be a good guest and finish finish up what you what you gave it me. It was good though, huh? Yeah. What did you think about Emmanuel when you first met him? Uh, like I told him in person, I, I thought I thought he was gonna be like a Theo, no disrespect, you know what I'm saying? But he seems pretty young, pretty cool, you know, like someone that's like relatable, you know, because when you see him, when you see him, no, no, because when you see him on those videos. Like, Which videos? Like, just on YouTube or wherever you see him, like, when you post him. Um, he just seems like, I don't know, like, he's just not in the same crowd. But when I met him today, he seems like he, he he's pretty cool. You know what I'm saying? I can't complain. <sighs> yeah, yeah, for real, dude, for I'm real. I'm so dead. When you told him that, I was like, dude, it was funny. When I told him that? Yeah. I yeah, because I told him that in person, too. I told him that, you know. I just but... thought it was funny because, like, I wonder what people think of Emmanuel. Because Emmanuel is private. I feel like they private. think he's a deal. Yeah, Emmanuel's more private and he's just like, you know, he's doing his thing thing or whatever. Yeah. But I'm trying to get him to come out more. Yeah. I think you yeah. should. I think you should show him a lot more because, like like I said, a lot of people have this certain, like, perspective of, of him. Of, like, what they think about him. Yeah, yeah. But when I met him in person, I was like, dang, yeah, he, he seems different than, than the camera, you know? Also, you guys, Pancho is tall as fuck. Like, he's huge. Honestly, I think you're the tallest person I've ever seen. Bro. In, in real life, yeah. Damn. Well, they can't see now because I'm sitting down. But... No, dude, he's fucking tall. Like, he looks like he's seven feet. Damn. You say you're six, seven, but you look like you're seven feet. So, what did you think about my music at first when I first came out? Like, were you like, what the fuck so, is look, this look, doing? Let me be honest. The, the first song, the Soy, Soy La 69, mm -hmm. that was the first one I was like, what are you doing, my Cheeto? He literally was like, <laughs> nah, that first song, I was like, I thought it was Boo Boo. But you started actually like, so you went from Boo Boo, I ain't gonna lie. And then it started going a little bit higher and higher and higher, you know? Well, I, mean? I will say I don't know how to sing. Like, singing okay. is not my thing. Yeah. But I'm just kind of like, why not, you know? Yeah. I feel like life is too short to like not try something out. Because you yeah. never know, like, what if you're good at it? Like, now I'm being booked for shows. Yeah. So it's kind of like... I seen that. I seen that you, the some of the club events, some of the, the cheese mosas were sending me videos where you were you were talking about like, oh, should I do the interview? Oh, Pancho's about to be like. <laughs> they sent you. Yes, oh I my seen that. God, fucking bitches! Why are you guys sending him <laughs> shit? What did now, I say? Uh, one of there's two two different events. One of them where you were like, should I do the interview? And then the other one where I think I don't know if your your strap fell off or something. And then you were like, <laughs> and then you're like, Pancho's about to cover. Did you guys see that? <laughs> <laughs> Something along those lines. So I gotta look for those videos. Dude, um, did I wonder what show it was? Would you ever launch music? I don't think so, but I really love Dembo music. Okay, period. We love Dembo. So I love I love Dembo, but I don't know if I, how I would sound. Yeah. 
Maybe we might have to collab, you know what collab? I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, let us know if you guys want a Pancho and Jenny 6 ix 9 yeah, collab. Yeah, Imagine yeah. featuring Pancho in one of my shows. That shit will be so crazy, huh? All right, you guys. So that completes today's video. Thank you so much, Pancho, for coming on yeah, my channel. Yeah, thank you for having me. Y'all be sure to follow Pancho. I'm sure you guys already follow him, but I'll go ahead and tag him here in this video. If y'all haven't subscribed to my channel, please be sure to subscribe. And that's it, y'all. If y'all want to try the little chilindrinas or whatever these are called, try them out because they were actually pretty good. They were good. Look, I finished it. Yeah, he fucked his plate up, y'all. <laughs> I honestly will say that this will taste better with like carne molida or like a pollo de cebrado because I feel like the papas weren't really giving and I honestly don't really like these. Damn. It was tasting a little bit civil vibes. I think it's the texture. I just can't do it. But yeah, anyways, I love you guys all so much. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye, y'all.